Hello my friends, today's video is going to be a direct comparison between the beauty of Joseon sunscreen that has been really, really popular in recent months versus the Essentry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel, which has been popular for mm, longer even? I think this one has been popular for longer. I'm really curious about today's video. I have to admit it, I'm making today's video because I want to know the difference between these two. In my own head, they seem really, really similar with one kind of stark contrast, but I think that if I do a side-by-side -side application, that might make the differences even more clear. So that's the goal. Remember, as always, don't uh, do this with sunscreens because I'm not actually covering the center of my face. The Beauty of Joseon was gifted to me. The Eason Tree is one that I purchased and I'll have links and timestamps in the description box below. Let's start out this video with the applications. I'll stay with consistency here. I held this one up on this side, so we will use the Beauty of Joseon. Have I said the full name of this? Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 with a PA protection of PA++++. So I'm going to use a full finger's length on half of my face, right? That's going to be the system here. So the beauty of Joseon's sunscreen is creamy. It's not too runny. It's actually really, really easy to work with. I mean, I think the, the hype around this one is very well deserved. If you're not uh, just stumbling upon this channel, you probably also know that I adore the beauty of Joseon brands. It's one of my absolute favorite brands. Let me tell you at this point in the video that I kind of try to be a little careful with this one around my eye area because it's not that it bothers my, my eyes every time I wear it, but if I end up sweating and the sweat runs down into my eyes, it does kind of feel a little bit more painful with this particular sunscreen. I'm a big baby who doesn't like the sensation of sunscreen in my eyes ever, but I have noticed, as, as has everybody, some sunscreens kind of sting more than others. It's so easy to work with. It, it's almost obnoxious how easy it is to work with, largely because if this was, you know, in some kind of a contest against U.S. sunscreens, who would win? I think we all know. Do y'all think the U.S. will ever get it together with allowing more sunscreen filters? I, I, I don't, I just don't understand what the giant holdup is in this country. Anyway, we're going to move on to the Eason Tree, which is also SPF 50 PA++++ on the other half of my face. Same text, look at that, it's the same texture, you see that? Are they sisters, not twins? I don't know, we'll find out today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and massage this one into my skin. This one has uh, a little bit more of a white cast initially as I apply it, but it does on my skin tone, disappear into my skin. I figured it's most helpful if I let this sit on my skin for about 15 minutes, so 15 minutes since application has passed. We are now gonna look up and close at any differences that you may see. Do you see any? Because I, I, sir, I do. <laughs> I definitely do. <laughs> look at how much more shiny the Issa Tree side is. It is immense glow, immense dewy. Dare I say greasy, depending on how you feel about the shine factor, I have to admit to you, it's not actually my favorite thing in the world, and it's so surprising because I have dry skin. I'm supposed to love the maximum glow, but the Eason Tree is actually, it's almost too much for me. I was kind of trying to figure out why, and I think it might have to do with uh, using a retinoid. I feel like my skin naturally looks shiny, since I switched over to Adapalene, whereas uh, before it, it really didn't. I know this is important for some of you, so I wanna make sure to comment, I absolutely have been able to wear makeup over both of these with zero issues. They have a perfect uh, primer type of consistency to them, no kind of pilling. They're, they're, they're really cosmetically elegant sunscreens. There are some more differences when we get into the ingredient section, but I would like to take this moment to introduce to you all my new ranking system. I'm really out here patting myself on the back for making two images. Wow, Alice. Okay, anyway, but I, I am excited about these. Let me know your thoughts if you want me to add anything else. Let's put these two up on the screen so you can see the comparison. I mean, again, we are talking some very minor differences between these two. They are both SPF 50 plus. They are both PA 4 plus. Uh, the finish is definitely on the dewy side for both of them, with it being a little bit more dewy 
on the eCentury side. On my speed of application here, I actually really wanted to put both of these as all the way over to the fastest, but then I, I talked myself out of it because I went, well, what if what if there's somehow a faster application? There probably is. A, a probably a, a perfectly clear sunscreen, maybe that would be a little faster. That's all to say, these are both incredibly fast. Both have excellent wear. I have no issues with the way these wear. I have no issues with reapplication. Neither do report uh, whether they are water resistant or not, so that, that's certainly something to note if you are looking for a waterproof sunscreen. The packaging is practically the same. The only difference is the Beauty of Josan is in kind of that uh, aluminum tube system that I don't think everybody likes. But it is a little easier to recycle, although side note while we're here, this is the old packaging from eCentury. It's now been updated. What they changed is the label is now much easier to peel off, so it's easier to recycle. Price per ounce. This is so hard because it's so hard to tell you how much a Korean sunscreen costs. Where's my K-Beauty fans? You all know it is so hard to say, oh yeah, it's... $14.49. It, it fluctuates so much with Korean beauty products. So uh, for now, I'll go with what seems to be the established prices, which is Beauty of Joseon at $18 and Eastentry at $26.50. So the Eastentry is more expensive. Although right now, I just checked the YesStyle website. This is 18 on YesStyle and this is about 13. That's just yes style though. You can certainly shop, you know, Jolsey, Style Vana, Style Korean, and probably find much better prices. Again, I'll I'll link my Korean beauty at comparison. Now we're moving into the ingredient section, and we actually do have some differences here. If you're somebody who is just looking to avoid ingredients like essential oils or fragrance, neither one of these have essential oils, and neither of them contain the word fragrance, but it's definitely worth noting some of these ingredients could contribute to all that Sid to my not the strongest in the world nose. It is really amazing to me how I smell absolutely nothing whatsoever in the beauty of Joseon. It's like a, a void of scent. Whereas with the Eason tree, I can kind of smell the chemical filters in this one. So it has a, a slight chemical type of scent to it. It's not really a helpful description, but there, there's something that I can smell in the Eason Tree version. So I think we'll start by looking at the two uh, filters used in these. Of course, these are Korean sunscreens, so we don't know the exact percentage, but we do know what filters are used. It's so funny that these would be so similar, and yet they actually only share two filters. Both of them have Juvenal A plus and uh, Tinasorb M. The beauty of Joseon sunscreen is overall using a lot more of those newer cosmetically elegant filters, whereas the Eason Tree does use some of the more old school filters. We have Octosalate in here, Homosalate. So coming back around to the other ingredients in these, obviously this one is called the Rice and Probiotic Sunscreen, and it does indeed contain rice, who would have thought it, at 30%, and some probiotic ingredients, quite a few different probiotic ingredients. If you want to take a look at it, I've highlighted them in this one. Whereas the Eason Tree calls itself the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel, and it has eight types of hyaluronic acid, which is kind of, you know, just, just really being an underachiever, Eason Tree. Have you, have you tried including 97 different forms of hyaluronic acid? I expect more from you. Hopefully my sarcasm is on point or I may have offended some people. <laughs> anyway, all that means is you have different molecular weights which can travel to different levels of your skin. So, you know, a lot of the emphasis here would be more on hydrating your skin, whereas the relief, rice and probiotics, might be potentially more for or repair. I say that, but then we actually have ceramides in this as well. I mean, it's really a well-rounded formula. Both of these do have niacinamide. should definitely point that out, as some people love that ingredient and other people try to avoid it. Shall we wrap up this video with a who won? Who's next? <laughs> you know, like epic rap battles of history? I do. I love epic rap battles. For me, the winner is Beauty of Joseon. I don't hate the Eason Tree, but the extra shine is just not my favorite look. And that's it, my friends. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As far as other sunscreen reviews, I've decided to go ahead and do both the Can Make and the Hero. I feel like we were getting just enough interest in each of those, so that will be coming to the channel soon. That's all I have for today's video. If you found it helpful, Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful week, and I will 
See you all next time.